Good evening and a very warm welcome to the Man Bet X, champion of champions here in a packed Rico Arena in Coventry. This is the final. The first player to 10 frames will be crowned Man Bet X, champion of champions. It's time now to meet the players. We begin with the former Shanghai Masters champion and the winner of the 2018 Paul Hunter Classic, the warrior, Kyron Wilson. <laughs> a two-time champion of champions, the reigning UK champion, and a five-time champion of the world, the Rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ronnie O'Sullivan has made that walk so many times before into the concluding session of a final. If he wins tonight, it will be his 66th professional tournament win. Okay, thank but you to tenth standing in his way. Kyron Wilson to break. Kyron Wilson. Stubborn, stoic, hard to break down. Yeah, so when you mentioned the Sullivan and what he's won, it's the big occasion like this. One table set up, packed house. But generally, brings out the best in great players like him, like Stephen Hendry, the real top guys, Steve Davis in his day. The real champions love it. In an atmosphere like this, on trophy night, Yes, and that is a trophy they're playing for. He's lifted it twice. Ronnie O'Sullivan. In fact, he's, there. he's always been in the final the years he's played in it. There was one year he missed out altogether. He's always been playing on the Sunday, Phil, hasn't he? In this event, he, he really suits him. It's a format to which he responds, much like the Masters. that really well. Stop the key wall exactly where the red was. Thanks. Sullivan just walked around. I'm not sure what he could have been looking at, but clearly nothing is available. I thought he played okay in spells. A little burst from when he lost the first frame to the point where he led 4 1. Struggled thereafter, but I thought the break of 131 in the decider was quite a special break, actually. 
And they've just finished the session with a bang. It's what he needed, I felt. Could not agree with you more. The opening red was superb. And a black off its spot to split the bunch was exceptional. It's a big three, a big lead, 6-3, but it's not insurmountable. He's lost substantial leads in finals before. <laughs> Two in the Masters spring to mind. 7-2 up on the late Paul Hunter. Lost that one. 8-4 up to Steve Davis in 1997, lost 10-8. So Wilson does have realistic hope. Well, we were right down the line of that and it was a very good return safety shot from Kyron Wilson. <laughs> Even Ronnie tapped the table. good he had it mighty thin I tell you what that's I think the best of the lot that one he made the last safety shot tough for Karen Wilson as if to say well okay this is going to be even more difficult and the reason is it, there was always the chance he hits this too thick he goes it off or rattles the cue ball in the jaws a magnificent safety shot that Trotting into the reds is all he has. <coughs> Luckily being in behind the green again here. One constant theme of O'Sullivan's play today has been patience. He took on a, a questionable blue with the cue ball tight under the side cushion, tried to power that one in. That was low percentage in the first session. Maybe one other red from distance. But generally speaking, he's not just playing well, he's playing properly. Thin safety shot, but he spotted that the one in the middle of the bunch was potable and bringing the cue ball back. So it's advantage O'Sullivan. I think trickling behind the colour is the next shot. But you have to create the chances, and he may have done that with the snooker. If the Reds were tightly packed, he wouldn't feel quite so vulnerable. But they aren't. They're already spread. Any mistake, any misjudgment here could be really expensive.
That was the opposite of a misjudgment. That was ideally judged. It's also a good shot. He can get to the red on the left, of course, but down the right side, I don't know if he can hit anything. Makes you wonder if he might have a little go at this. Red at long range. If he gets down where he's queuing now, he'll be on the black. Because he doesn't know if he misses the red that he's playing, where that will finish. So there's risk, but he has to take some risk. Otherwise, he's in a spot of bother here. Oh, he's having a go at this. You can tell, by the way, that he's winding himself up to play the shot. I can say it's always the red that you have gone for. You can't tell where that's going to finish. And if nothing else, Ronnie's got that red up the table, the thin one. Not the kind of pot you want so early in a session. When the queue's flowing and you've had plenty of time on the table, it's a different matter. Yeah, Susan asked from the crowd, but that wasn't as simple as it might have appeared. It was a ball he should have potted, no doubt, but far from a gimme. When you play that kind of shot, you want to avoid putting top on the cue ball, but really Wilson had no option. Carl now, he Wilson was in won. trouble a while ago. O'Sullivan's in even more trouble here. had a look because there's always the chance this will be replaced if there's a miss called he certainly went on the cautious side there foul and a miss Karen might just have a little Wilson, five. look Thank at this long red no, didn't even leave his chair two things about this tournament that have been Tremendous. One, the refereeing. We've had no hint whatsoever of any mistakes. The, the three officials have been top notch. And also the table. The people from Rasson Billiards must be very proud. It's played really nicely. Just 
just love how halfway up the cushion I had it if you played it plain ball. We'll make it a bit tighter if you want. But I didn't really have to put a lot. I didn't have to bend. I didn't have to do that. Must admit, I thought that Ronnie yeah. wasn't yeah. elevating the butt of the queue as much first time as he got shaped to do second time, which means yeah. might have been not have been quite so fine behind it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not much fun this shot. Little left hand side onto the two cushions to glance thin off a red. You can miss it again. Well, that's almost a replica wow. of the other one. Kyron's got to look at this red. I mean, this is better than the previous, and surely he's going to knock this in and be found the pink. Well, the opening red didn't go in cleanly, but in it went, and uh, I suppose have the frame Seven. in your own hands by playing the shot he did. And as we're saying, he's got to punish. He's got to capitalise on chances that come his way like this. Wilson's scoring in the first session was a little restricted. 50 break in the 14. first frame, 42 in the seventh, 86 in the eighth. His only contributions of any great Fifth size. Eight. But as Neil said, this is a, a gilt edge chance. Twenty-two. Sure. Twenty-three. The stakes are high for Wilson this evening. If he wins, it's going to be the biggest payday of his nine. career, superseding the £90,000 he won for being runner-up in the Masters back in January. Oh, but that was loose. That was loose indeed. 30. Not in it just. He's played, uh, I Blue guess, ball. a much thicker cannon there. Shot to recover the situation a bit, but not as much as clearing the table would have uh, his opponent. Well, the two reds down the table under the black spot, he'd love to lay up to one of those, especially the right one. I don't know how easy it's going to be twice across. Get it in there. And not a lot of right, uh, room to do so. What a brilliant shot.
And Neil, that was clever from Wilson. Apart from getting a good white, he also got a good black. Fully intended to try and chip the black under the, the side cushion. With a 40-point lead, the way forward. Shouldn't be forgotten that um, Kyron Wilson booked his place in the Champion of Champions by winning the Paul Hunter Classic, which is the tournament in Firth in Germany. I know he also won something else after that. Good shot. <laughs> but that Paul Hunter Classic was considered a small Five. tournament. Not many of the top 16 played in it. Presumably because the prize fund wasn't high. But there were spin-offs of winning it, and this is one of them. Karen Wilson won. <coughs> well, this looks a pretty nasty snooker to be to be left in, to be honest. Well, he seems to be the equal of most things, but this is going to be really tough. He's aiming for that bottom red again. Goodness. This is really difficult to hit. I think he'll have another go Foul. at it. And a miss. Slightly to go Aaron back. It's, it slides when it hits the left-hand cushion and drops down too far. So it's a difficult one. Wow. And the miss, Cara Wilson, four. Well, he didn't intend to hit the red in mid-table, but a little clip off it would have done just fine for him. So, third time. Yes, he over-adjusted for that one. It's somewhere in between the two shots is where he has to hit on the cushion. Okay. Well, I reiterate, this is a difficult snooker to hit. Wow. It'll be called cool a miss because yeah. he can actually hit other reds more easily, but the one he's trying to hit is the one that would leave it safe. Okay. And even giving 12 penalty points away, the trade-off is definitely worth it if he can get safe with this one. Uh, very true. He doesn't want to be faced with too many of those snookers, though. And for Wilson, a 53-point lead with black under one cushion, the blue down on the, the bulk line almost. It's a really useful advantage. And now another red taken towards a cushion. Easily played safe from the red on the right of the table. Played a fairly ambitious shot, red, and maybe get on the black, but he could have stopped the game there. Karen is slightly frustrated, O'Sullivan, his frame. One. Yes, ever since O'Sullivan missed that tricky red to the yellow pocket, he's been kicking against the wind. Five.
six. The lead expands to 63 Ten. points. Five reds and therefore 67 on the table. So this is frame ball. And the fact that Wilson needs the rest should not be a discouragement. Using this implement, he's one of the very best in the business, if not the best. Let me down. Time. Doesn't miss too many of those. Now the problem that Sullivan has got though is, of course, as it was earlier with the black being safe, between reds and pinks, he's going to run out of points soon. So we'll have to see in which way he brings the black one. into play. Or pots it, one of the two. Yes, four reds and pinks from here. It means you need Seven. a snooker. That's the reason he's just paused. Can afford to take reds and pinks Eight. a couple more times. <laughs> the maths are that you've got to get the black into play, Ronnie, at some point. Fourteen. No more leeway now. 42 behind, 43 on. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 21. Get the feeling it'll be a very good frame to win. A pretty unpromising position. Well, there's no way that Wilson will remove the red from the side cushion. That would be entirely counterproductive.
and things are getting more difficult all the time. Brown now put on the cushion. Uh, I don't know what he played there. I think he's <laughs> kind of given this frame up, but he can still win it, and he hasn't left the red on. The black is obviously a real, real problem for O'Sullivan, but the table now is better than it was a couple of minutes ago. Significantly better. Yes, he might have been looking for a snooker there, which could have, if he could have got any penalty points going this way, it's a slightly different complexion to the frame. A lot of opportunities to get the black into play, one with the wow. yellow, which I'm sure he, uh, no one could ever have played. If he takes the pink, he can tie the frame, which gives him a squeak still. Frank conceded, then that's Sullivan one. Frank Sullivan concedes. It was a scruffy old frame, really. Scruffy, disjointed. But it was very much to the liking of. Karen Wilson, who closes to within two at 6-4.